hello guys and welcome again to my channel so in this video i'm going to do a demo of another application and this is the uh, digital downloads and digital products uh, application so this uh, application where you can use uh, to sell digital products like uh, themes scripts and also uh, things like ebooks so I've integrated there M-Pesa and I just want to show you how the M-Pesa works. So let's uh, get started by um, going to the back end and looking at the uh, M-Pesa settings. Okay, so you go to the back end. In the back end on the left, far left side of the of the page of viewport, you scroll down to settings uh, to the settings option. You can see here we have the settings option. And then you click on the payments. And then it's going to take you to this page. So that is the payment settings page. And now I'll not talk about all these other payment methods, but then you can basically enable them. If you have the maybe Stripe credentials, PayPal credentials, you can easily enable them. But in this video, I'm going to talk about M-Pesa, right? Because the M-Pesa is my is the method payment method that is used by most people in east africa all right so you can see here on mpesa payments you can enable it and disable it right you can enable it and disable it by just toggling this button here and then you have the mode so the mode you can either choose sandbox or live so live mode means that you are using either live till or live pay bill okay and sandbox means that you're using maybe test credentials maybe from uh, your safaricom developers portal test apps okay so you need to specify the mode and then once you have specified the mode here you need to choose the consumer key and the consumer secret right and once you've done that you also need the pass key you need to provide the pass key and the short code so for those who are not aware uh, for uh, maybe pay bill for a pay bill the short code is the pay bill number and then for a till if you are using uh, a till the short code is the house is the store number right it's called store number and then you also need to specify the short code type so the short code type we have the till number either you are using a till number or a pay bill number so here make sure that you specify if it is a till number or the pay bill number once you've done that in case you want to charge any fee on transaction you just enter the fee here and another important thing is uh, is here if you are using a till make sure that you enter the till number here because it is important but then if you're not using a till you're just using the pay bill number you don't have to specify the till here so once you've entered those details you just need to to come here and maybe update right it can be live can be um can be live it can be sandbox so once you've updated and this one is turned on mpesa will appear as one of the payment methods okay it will appear as one of the payment methods you, you see you also have payment method like paypal but then after enabling those methods make sure that you update here so once you have updated here um the payment method should always appear when somebody is making a purchase of of your of any of the products that are that you are displaying on the front end so let's check that so you can see that this is the front end right and i'm logged in as a user just a test user and you can see that we have products here we have this digital and integrated uh, digital products and download scripts and also you have this ultimate pause so i'll use this one for testing you can see e-commerce this one i'll use this one for testing so the first thing you have to add it to the cart and once it is added to the cart you have to click on the checkout button and then now it will take you to this uh, checkout page and here we have the total amount that you need to pay and here the payment method that you, you want to use so i just click here and you see that now we have two payment methods uh, popping up here and the reason is uh, we have enabled those two so i'm going to choose mpesa 
And when you select M-Pesa, you will see more details, uh, more input fields popping up down here, like the phone number. So you have to specify the phone number. So in case you don't, it will not uh, go on to not submit that. Uh, it will not submit that form. And you also need to agree to the terms and conditions, right? So let us just let me just give my phone number and also agree to the terms and conditions and click on checkout uh, to make a purchase. And you see it. It goes to the processing page and then it shows you that the pop-up has been sent to your phone. And there are two options. You can either buy, you can either, either somebody will buy or they will cancel when they get the pin on the M-Pesa on their phone. So to test, I'm going to buy. I'm just going to enter my pin to authorize the transaction. And I wait for that message. And as I wait for that message, I've received that message, but let me explain something. You can see that it takes you to this page, uh, order pending page, and you have the information order status. It tells you that a pop up will appear on your phone asking you to enter your PIN. Your PIN, please enter your PIN to complete the payment. So once they have paid, they'll basically click here, I have paid. And the system is going to check if they have paid or they have not, right? And you, you see order summary whatever they purchased and the total amount, right? And here we have uh, the other details and then the download button. So if the person has paid, if we click on the download button, it is going to download that. It's going to download that specific item. But the, if the person has not paid, it is not going to authorize the download. So let's have paid, meaning that I'll be able to download. And you can see it downloads, right? It downloads because I've paid. Now, I want to do a, the second test. So on the second test, I'm not going to pay so that you can see if somebody can be able to download if they have not paid, in case they have not paid. So let me just start by adding it to, to the cart. And then click on the cart and check out button. And I'll enter the M-Pesa, the payment method and the phone number and if you want to leave the note uh, to the to admin you can just write your note here and then you click on checkout so it gives me that information and i, I actually have that pop up on my phone and i just want to pretend that i've paid they have not paid so i'll click on i have paid and try to click on download and you see we see it cannot allow me to download because I've not paid. It has checked and found that I've not paid for that uh, product. So the payment for your order, and then we have the order ID is not confirmed yet. Please try again later, right? Uh, yeah, so let's say that the, the M-Pesa or Safaricom delay to send the callback data, the user can still go back to the product that they purchased. So if we go to, if we hover on this uh, on this icon, we can scroll down and go to the purchases here. You can see all the purchases that the, the user did, um, the purchases. We have some that are pending and some that are paid, right? So let's try to go to number four. Uh, you can see that this one we paid for it, but this one I told you that I'm not going to pay and it is still pending. And for the pending one, you cannot download. But for the paid one, you can download. So if I click here, that one I'll download, but for the pending one, if I try to click, you see, I can not download. So yeah, so basically that, that is how that application works. And in case you are interested in it, you can just come to this website, codingexpert.com. And then that is, this is that, uh, that script. I have included the, all the, the code and the database. So you'll not have any problem maybe installing. But in case you have any problem, you can just let us know and we'll help you. So just add to cart and then check out. It's only 5,000 and then you select on M-Pesa, you enter your phone number. And once once you're paid for it, it is going to take you to the download page and you'll be able to download and set it up on your, and use it. So in case you have any question, just ask that question in the comment section. Thank you so much.